Alright guys, what is going on and welcome back to episode number 2 of our Toronto Maple Leafs BAGM mode for NHL 15. So, as you can see, I have restarted, we just got the preseason done last time, and I asked you guys whether or not I should edit William Nylander, and 90% of you guys, as you can see, comments on the screen right now saying yes, 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 do this, do this. There were some comments that were saying make them green stars, make them 80 overall, but I know that that was just fans of the Toronto Maple Leafs want to see him do really well because you know that's honestly what I believe William Nylander should be at he's insanely skilled and uh, definitely will get some NHL time with the Leafs even though he was just sent down but they can, can call him up he will you guys will see William Nylander in a Leafs uniform this year in the NHL but he is going to be playing with the with the Marlies now he is definitely our number one prospect 70 overall 18 years old right wing playmaker nasty stats he is going to be a beast so I just want to get that out of the way William Nylander now is 70 overall. So, I was reading the comments like religiously. I kept on refreshing it and refreshing it. What to do, I, you know, because I wanted to get a good idea of, um, of where this team was headed and what we could do to improve the team. So... I haven't really you know, made any decisions in stone yet, but I've made one, and that decision is to keep both of our goalies, Bernier and Reimer. I'm keeping them both. I believe that we can roll with this one-two punch. I don't think that rolling with uh, 86 and 85 could necessarily be a bad thing. You know, if maybe one is struggling more than the other, we could trade them at the trade deadline or even the draft or something like that. So I'm going to keep the goalies for the foreseeable future. Probably in this episode, we're going to make uh, one trade, uh, which I I already know what I've done some pre-scouting and I think I know which player I want to go after uh, but we're going to keep Jonathan Bernier and James Reimer for the foreseeable future I'm not saying they're going to be here forever but we're going to keep them for right now and defensively I've made a decision as well we're going to keep Dion Phaneuf for basically probably the exact same amount of time as we are going to keep uh, the goaltenders probably we'll package them together for a really good defenseman or a really good goaltender uh, but David Clarkson all right let's talk about David Clarkson here so I was looking at his stats and I actually don't mind Clarkson, you know, if, okay, forget about the 5.25 million that he's making, forget about that. Look at his stats, look at him as a player. Uh, you know, his physical category is great, his shooting category is great, puck skills is not bad at all, defense is great, everything is okay on David Clarkson, he's a great player, but... It all comes back to the cap. We got the 5.25 million. If Clarkson was making three, three and a half, absolutely. I will have no problem with that. Pay him that all day. I'll even sign the check myself. I, you know, making 5.25 is too much. And we all know that. It's no, there, there's, there's no secret here. It's too much money for David Clarkson. Is getting rid of him right now the best thing to do? No. Because I want to see how he can perform. I want to test it out for two months, you know. I want to see what we can. And what we can do, what this team's capable of. Is this a playoff team? I would say yes, just on the bubble. We're going to make a trade right now, though. We're going to boost up our third line. I know I was saying how much I like the, I liked the third line, but there was a comment. I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. It's basically saying, yes, we're a, we're a playoff team. Get some scoring on the third line, and you should be all right. Uh, you, this guy mentioned Sean Monaghan. It's kind of out of reach to get Monaghan, so we're going to go to Tampa Bay and get Jonathan Drouin. I'm just kidding. We're not going to get Drew Ann. Obviously, that would be ridiculous, and I've already had Drew Ann in the past, and everybody gets Drew Ann, so I do not want to get Jonathan Drew Ann. Uh, for some reason, though, I don't know why this is, if this is uh, you know, this is something that EA messed up on or whatnot. You look at, uh, here he is right here, Nikita Kucherov, 81 overall, four and a half red stars, 81 overall, and look at his trade value. It's next to nothing. So I'm going to capitalize on that. You know, I don't know if that is a glitch by EA or what not we're gonna get Kucherov I've tried him out in the past and we haven't had the best relationship so we're gonna try all over again so I'm definitely gonna capitalize on this I don't again I don't know if it's an EA thing or whatnot but Kucherov is a stud and that potential is very 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 nice so what I'm gonna do here I have a trade in mind I don't know if it's gonna work or not it's gonna be a 2018 second round pick Carter Ashton and Daniel Winnick for Kucherov for basically just just Kucherov I don't know who this Philip I'm Paradise could Paradis. I don't know who, who he is. Got some Jesus hair going on, but uh, that's his basically Winnick Ashton and a, a second for Kucherov. I'm going to try to get 
uh, for a third because I don't really want to give up a second. That's quite a bit. But Winnick, Ashton, and third for basically Kucherov. Yes, it went through. Good. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth as it were. So Tampa Bay gladly accepts this particular proposal of yours. So that's cool. I'm very happy about that. That boosts our third line like crazy because obviously uh, Kucherov is going to be a stud in the future. We're, we're thinking about the future here and that brings some scoring to the third line. So now that leaves Clarkson. You know, we could play Clarkson on the third line and put Kucherov there. Kucherov would probably get a few more points, but I do not want to rush him. He's listed as a depth forward. We're going to play him on the third line. Clearly he is NHL ready. Look at his stats. They're just nasty. Clearly he is NHL ready. So I am going to give him power play time as well. We're going to take Clarkson off the power play and we're going to put uh, Kucherov there. But that means I have to give... Um, I have to give Clarkson some power play time as well, or some uh, some ice time. It's not, it's not that I don't want to play Clarkson. It's just ugh, I don't. I really don't know what to do with with Clarkson here. We're gonna keep him though. We're gonna keep him because people are saying he's a valuable asset. He's a valuable asset. Uh, use him for a couple months and then maybe trade him once we know what to do with him. So we're gonna hang on to him for a little bit here, and that's how the team is gonna look going into the season here. So JVR, Kadri, Kessel, Clarkson. Bozak, Lupul, Booth, Santarelli, Kucherov, Fratton, Komarov, or that's actually wrong. We're going to bring up Peter Holland, and then we're going to send down either Orr or Komarov. So let's bring up uh, Smith, actually. Where is he? Um, Peter Holland's actually up. He's not even playing for some reason. Uh, so who'd have to scratch? Matt Fratton is a good fourth liner. Uh, we could keep him. Yeah, he brings some scoring. I don't really like having scorers or whatever, two-way two -way forwards, whatever he is. I don't really like having them on the fourth line. I feel like they're third line players, but you got to do with what you got to do. We're going to scratch Colton Orr probably. Yeah, let's just scratch Orr and put Holland in there. Uh, Orr can go uh, scratch Orr and we can put Holland in there. Who's Who who has better faceoffs though? 60 for Holland and Komarov has 60. But, you know, I'm going to play Holland right there. It's going to be Komarov, Holland, Fratton. Defensively, Polak, no, it's going to be Morgan Riley, Gardner. Uh, no, Morgan Riley, Franzen, Enough and Gardner, and then in the cage, obviously Bernier and James Reimer. So that's probably how it's going to look going into the season here, unless I decide to do any last minute tweaks, which I don't think I'm going to, but we're going to keep Clarkson, we're going to keep Phaneuf, we're going to keep our goaltenders for the time being. I don't want to blow up the team quite yet. Um, there's a lot of comments saying, oh, I hate Toronto, why'd you do Toronto, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm not going to watch this unsubscribe, and I was like, man, like, relax, you know, I'm not a huge Toronto fan either, don't get me wrong, but it's a GM mode, we can make it the way that we want it, give it a, a shot, it's all I'm telling telling you guys. One thing I've learned from YouTube is that you're never going to please everyone. You're never going to make everybody happy and that's something that I've learned and uh, you're just never going to make anybody happy. The people saying make it make it realistic. Obviously, I would never go after Daniel Alfredson. Obviously, he would never come to, to Toronto. That just wouldn't happen. I'm going to let him be signed from somebody else. But as for uh, free agents, I'm going to sign Colton, Colton Tubert. We don't have too much cap space, but he's going to play in the minors. We'll give him the max we can give him 925 for the one year. Uh, yeah, I mean, if if at anything, he can be a valuable trading asset. Uh, we don't need this guy. Drayson Bowman's 25 years old, 77 overall sniper. You know, let's give him a shot as well. Uh, he's going to want NHL. No, he wants a two-way as well. Yeah, we'll give you that. Uh, is there anyone else we can give a contract to? James Wright. He's 24, three green stars. He was listed as a fourth liner, though. I want to play him in the minors. Um, all these players players Jasper B Jensen Jasper B Jensen Jesper B, that's a great name. Uh, <laughs> who else we got here? Philip Larson, don't want to give you a contract. I think I'm just okay with Tubert and um, basically just okay with Tubert. So we're going to give Tubert the contract and uh, Bowman there just to bolster our scoring in the HL a little bit. Uh, any goaltenders, that's a defenseman. Any goaltenders that are there? Makarov, you know what? Again, uh, maybe for a trading asset, we'll give Makarov a contract. And if he decides to come, great. If not, well, so be it. So let's get a couple months of simulation done. We made our one trade. We got Kucherov. Um, I'm happy about Kucherov for sure. I think Kucherov's a great move. Uh, he's going to be a stud for us in the future, and I cannot wait to see what he does. So I wanted to welcome you 
to the Toronto Maple Leafs organization as our new GM for the next three years. It's all about winning. I am, I, I am setting your initial target at 38 wins this season. Keep me happy and you keep your job. Now go out there and make me happy. You got it, sir. I got it. Gym rep has dropped. That's fine. Uh, probably because they didn't like me trading draft picks. But it was only a third. It was only a third round pick. So let's get the preseason underway here and let's get it done. Scout. Okay, let's set our scout out here. We're going to scout McDavid no matter what probably. Uh, there's a top five guy in there. Let's scout uh, defenseman in the queue to start. Why not? There's a top five guy out there. Kucherov had a goal in his first game in the blue and white. I like that. In Toronto land. Uh, Makarov. Oh, we got a full roster. We got a full roster. So let me just deal with this right now. I'm going to go trade a bunch of random scrubs that we're not going to use. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, re-sign all of those players. All right. So I just got rid of a uh, couple crap players. I got rid of uh, Contiola and just some randoms for a third round. Or sorry, for a fourth round pick from Winnipeg. So Contiola, Paradise, and Fraser McLaren for a fourth round pick. Players we're not going to use. And now I went ahead and signed all of those players. Uh, so hopefully they can come to our team and help us out in the AHL for sure. I uh, hate your boss. Well, uh, blah, 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 happy. I'll be happily surprised to make the playoffs, but don't be angry if you do not. Uh, I plan on making the playoffs, man. I plan on making the playoffs. So Tubert's on the squad. I like that. Come on, guys. Uh, Jamper's gone up. Thank you very much. We got Makarov and we got Bowman. So let me go ahead and put them on the HL team and then we'll get maybe a month of simulation done. So here's our AHL team here. Nylander, Smith, Bowman, Abbott, Rupert, Cozen, Brawl, Carrick, Lenovo, or Leovo, uh, Ryan, Biggs, and Mike Duco. And then defensively, he's going to be uh, Tubert right there. So he's a 72 overall. It's going to be a big help on our back end. And there we are. So, and we're going to have Makarov as the starter in the AHL. So let's get the first game done here against the Montreal Canadiens. A nice original six matchup here. Let's go. First game. Let's go. First period. one nothing. Kucherov. There we go. Gets a goal in his first regular season game with the blue and white on Carey Price. P.A. Parento gets another one there. Second period. 4-1. to one. There you go. JVR, Kessel, and Kadri. Our stars are coming to play right now against the Habs. Pacioretty makes it 4-2. Oh, fucking Brandon Gallagher. No way. Come on, guys. Let's, let's hold it together here. Let's hold it together. Uh, come on. 3-5-4-3. Three, two, one. There we go. Lupa with the empty netter. And we get our first victory in our first game. That is what I like to see. Thank you, Toronto. This is gonna be this is this is gonna be good, guys. This is gonna be a fun GM mode. I cannot wait to do it. Three points each for Kessel and Kadri. Not bad at all. So let's get the first month done here. It's gonna be a short one, but uh, you guys let me know about the moves I made and if you thought it was good or not. I mean, we're on the right track. We're definitely on the right track here for uh six success and for the playoffs. I think we're going to be a playoff team this year. I just I just I can't see why we why we wouldn't. We have everything in place to where we should be a playoff team. Uh bar 7-2 loss. Wow. If we keep having games like that, we're not going to make the playoffs. And just as I say, we're going to make the playoffs and we're a good team. We're start off the year 1-2-1. One, and one. Come on, boys. Back, we got a home-and-home home here against our XGM in Detroit. And we lose there. What is going on? What the hell? I was, think I was a little bit too cocky at the start there. There we go. 5-1 to one victory. That's what, I, that's what I like to see. Let's run the table here. Let's uh, let's get some victories under our belt early against the Islanders. 1-0 loss. Ooh, against the 5-0 and oh Ottawa Senators. We break the streak. We beat them 4-3. to three. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's get the... So let's uh, slow send the last month here. The last, or sorry, the last game, which would be against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Really big game here against the Bruins. They have a really good record, and we are going to hopefully get a victory. Win 4-1. to one. There we go. It's like we're losing against the crap teams. We're winning against the really good teams, which is kind of weird. Uh, four, or sorry, 3-4-2 and two for Buffalo, and we win 4-2. to two. There we go. Kessel with seven goals already. There we go. That's what I like to see, boys. Uh, let's get, oh, 7-1-1 one one for Columbus. Holy crap. All right, let's go here. First period. Period. Two to one. Lupul and Bozak. Cam Atkinson gets one there. Second period. Four to three. Uh, Bozak gets another. JVR gets one. Johansson and Hartnell get one each. Uh, four to three here going into the third period. Really tight game here. We need one, boys. Five on three. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, boys. Let's get one here. 
Let's go, there we go, Joffrey Lupul, J Loops baby comes up huge, and we, oh shit, oh, there we go, we beat the 7-1-1 one one Columbus Food Jackets, there we go, there we go, I'm feeling good boys, I'm feeling really good, let me know what you thought about the moves though, I think they're going to benefit our team for sure, I think, I think we're on the right track here, I think we're going to be just fine, so we're 7-4, or sorry, 6-4-1 right now, it's not bad, uh, through the first 11 games, you know, it's really not terrible at all, uh, no free agents, things we need to we need to really worry about scoring summary uh doesn't matter where are we we are uh fourth in the atlantic basically yeah fourth in the atlantic not bad at all it's still very early on though i uh, can't really judge too hard here but goals were tied for i guess we're tied for number two with uh schwartz Ovi, and perry there's uh five players tied for number one uh points we are number three and number four 15 points each wow holy crap actually we're tied for number one we're tied for number one with stamco and Spezza. That's awesome. That is exactly what I want out of JVR and Phil the Thrill Kessel. Looks like they're playing great together and I cannot be happier. So let's quickly check the stats here and then we'll call it off an episode. HL team, it's only a month and I'm not going to worry about it too hard here. Uh, I'll check the stats here and then you guys can let me know what you thought about the move, the one move that we made and how the squad is looking. So um, 15 points in 11 games for JVR. Killing it as well as Kessel. Lupul's got 13. cadbury has got 11. So our top players are really coming to play. Uh, Franzen's got 9, Bozak's got 8, Clarkson's got 6, not too bad. Uh, Fnuf's got 5, Kucherov's got 3, so, you know, he had a he had a, a good first game, but kind of slowed down after that. Senorado's only got 3, Riley's got 2, Pollock's got 1, Gardner's only got 2, Orr's got 1, Booth only has 1. So that third line, I don't know, I thought that was going to be our, our really str our really strong point for us, but, uh, you know, other than our top-end players with Kadri Lupul, Kessel, and JVR, it's really quiet. It, but it is only the first month. I'm not going to judge too hard. 5, 3, and 1 for Jonathan Bernier and 1 and 1 for James Reimer there. So no shoutouts. Doesn't really matter though. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. If you like the moves or not. I will see you guys very soon with daily GM modes. I want you guys to be a big part of this. So let me know guys and I will talk to you guys in the next one. And I read my only testament Just understand that this is a game I'm trying to be a legend in Legend in, legend in, legend in, legend in This is a game I'm trying to be a legend in